seasoned oven fries. So let's get started. Okay, before you start preparing any of the potato and the seasonings, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit and start chopping your potatoes. Okay, so get five hand-sized rather large potatoes and I usually chop them into finger sized pieces. So cutting lengthways. You want these reasonably thin. Lay your two on top of each other if you like, if they're pretty similar in size. And then cut them into fingers. So you can use any potatoes that you like, they will all work really well. And just peel and wash them and I like to have just the starchiness of the potatoes coming out because that will actually help to hold all the seasonings on when you're not using any oil. Try to cut them all in a similar size so they all cook evenly. Okay, and these are ready to have the seasonings added. Okay, so for this I'm just using some non-latex gloves that I've got just for mixing spices so I don't get it everywhere. And to this I'm adding one tablespoon of cornstarch two tablespoons of polenta, one teaspoon of mixed herbs, I'm using a mixture of Italian herbs, half a teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste, I'm putting a quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper and half a teaspoon of coarse Celtic sea salt. And finally, I'm adding two teaspoons of tamari, or you can use soy sauce or rags and mingos, up to you what you prefer to use. Okay, now this is going to get a nice mix through, so everything is nice and coated. That smells so good already. Okay, these are nice and evenly coated. Now I'm going to put them on a baking tray. Okay, so to cook these, I'm going to use a grill rack from the oven just because it lets the air circulate around the chips and makes them, or the fries, it makes them nice and crispy and doesn't burn them. Or it, it's just a nice even way of cooking these. And underneath I've just put a piece of non-stick paper just so if any of the coating falls down, it's not going to burn onto the tray underneath. Um, if you don't have one of these just put it onto some non-stick parchment paper and straight onto your baking tray. But I do like to use this to circulate the air around them. And try to make sure it's a single layer. And then put them in the oven for 10 minutes and then we'll check on them. I'm putting these about halfway in the center of the oven. Okay, so these have been in for 10 minutes and they're smelling and looking fantastic. So now just basically flip all these over. These now go in for another 10 to 15 minutes depending on how crispy you like them and then they'll be ready to eat. So these have been in the oven for an extra 15 minutes, so 25 minutes all up. And again, like I said, if you want them crispier or if your oven cooks slightly at a different rate, then just leave them in a little bit longer. But I'm very happy with how these have turned out. And I'm just going to have a 
it with a little bit of the ketchup. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm -hmm. I'm definitely not missing the oil on these. They taste fantastic. All those spices coming through. Use any herbs and spices that you like, any seasonings to suit yourself. But this is a great way to cook these. Mmm. So delicious. You can serve them with anything. Maybe check out my mayo recipe, it will go really well with that. And the sweet chilli sauce that I've got as well, even the pesto that I made in yesterday's recipe. Mmm, yum yum. My lunch right now. Give this recipe a thumbs up if you like it, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already done that. And I look forward to seeing you for the next recipe. Bye! Mmm.